All right. Today I have Hot Shot Ultra Liquid Roach Bait, which I will be giving a review as well as showing how to use this particular product. Now I did a similar video about this product a while back, but I think this time I have experience with using this product and I can tell you about my experience with this and how effective it was. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is the Hot Shot Ultra Liquid Roach Bait. It says that it kills in hours. It says kills roaches and the eggs that they carry. Kills both large and small roaches. So this does not discriminate. 2023, we are past discrimination. And so that's why Hot Shot, I think, decided to allow this to kill both large and small roaches. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more about this. All right, it says right here. It says here are the ingredients in here. Let me get a little bit closer so you can see this. Is that no, it's not a roach. I thought it was a roach. It was just something on the package. It was a roach, but it was a picture of a roach. But anyway, let's go ahead and get started with this. All right, so it says right here, it says these are the ingredients. It says dinotefuron in methyl in nitro. For those of you who don't know what that is, neither do I. And it has other ingredients in there as well. Now, it's important that you read all of the precautions, the cautions about this, the precautions and the cautions. Yes, it says, uh, do not allow children or pets to play with the bait stations. All right, this is the bait station. All right, so it says, for indoor household use only, important that you know that. There are more warnings about this particular product before, so before you actually use this product, Take note of all the cautions and the precautions about this product before you use it because you don't want to get hurt with this. So let's go ahead and flip it on the back and see what they have to say about this. Uh, the storage, you know, there's storage and disposal. We can talk about that in detail. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the directions for use. But before that, I'm just going to talk about how what it says. It claims, it claims that it kills, quickly kills formula, quick kill formula, advanced technology, bait technology, dual bait containers, both food and water. So when they approach and they want to get a snack, say, for instance, the roaches get hungry, you know, they probably had a long day, so they ready to go out and get something to eat on the town. They go in here, so if they're thirsty... This quenches their thirst and satisfies their hunger. All right, so how it works. Roaches enter the home in search of water and are most often found near water sources, which are the kitchen and the bathroom. All right, zoom in a little bit closer so you can see that. This is because a roach can live, up, can live for up to a month without food but can only survive seven days without water. This bait station is extremely attractive, I guess. Food source, oh, food source, okay, with the water source they need, delivering a lethal dose quickly. And it says, stop and read the entire label, not just what I'm reading you uh, before use. Directions for use, it's in violation of federal law to use this product in a manner inconsistent with its labeling. So what you're going to do is, I'm going to go ahead and pull this out while we read the tab. So let me go ahead and open this up gingerly from the side. Pull this out. Set that down. Zoom out a little bit so you can see this a little bit. All right, so we have this right here. This is the actual product. I'm going to pull one of the bait stations. I've done this before, so I'm guessing you can say I'm the master at it. And here is the bait station right here. And we're going to look at the station, the instructions with this. Okay, so right here it says... Pull tab located on the side of the bait station. All right. 
till to break seal on the vial containing the bait. All right, so what it says right here, it says it pull this right here. It says pull the tab located on the side of the bait station to break the seal on the vial containing the bait. So that's what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and I'm going to place this down and I'm going to pull this. Now it's important after you touch this and use this to wash your hands and make sure you don't use it on a surface where food can come in contact, that food comes in contact with. So I pulled the station and it looks like some moisture got on the outside. So make sure that you clean your hands because you don't want any cross contamination. So it says place bait stations where roaches have been seen or in out of the way places near walls, in cabinets, under sinks, and refrigerators, and in closets. Place up to five bait stations in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. Heavily infested areas may require additional bait stations. And it goes on. The people said, examine bait stations once per month to verify that the bait station is still present and that a roach hasn't ran off with it. In the station, replace bait stations every three months or sooner if empty bait stations are found. So those are the instructions. Now, I've used these, and they actually do work. They do a great job with getting rid of roaches. And they do it quite quickly. If you follow the instructions and warnings for this particular product, you can eliminate your problem relatively easy with getting, getting rid of... Oh, I almost scared myself again. These little critters right there, do you see it? That's how they'll end up in a short period of time after using the ultra liquid roach baits. So when they say keep it, place them near the sinks, under the refrigerator, they're saying it for a reason because those places have water near them. And like they said, the roaches can go one month without food, but they can only go seven days without water. So they're seeking water from the sink, around the sink, the refrigerator. And you're probably wondering, how do they get water from the refrigerator? Well, they don't just go in and grab water from the fridge or six pack. There is actually condensation that happens on the outside of the refrigerator and it drips down into a tray and the roaches will go up there and have a swig of that maybe go swimming in it quench the thirst like a big bottle of Gatorade would so it's important to put these around places like they said on the back it says place bait stations where roaches have been seen or out of the way places near walls, cabinets, or under sinks and refrigerators, and in closets. Place up to five bait stations in the kitchen and one in the bathroom. Heavily infested areas may require additional bait stations. So it's important that you read these instructions and place them where they need to go in order to rid yourself of roaches and so that you are being safe with using this because you don't want to ingest roach poison, okay? So I hope this video was helpful. I hope you can eliminate your issue within hours. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a good day.